I'm a big fan of a fixed bed because mostly I just don't want to make a bed every single day, every morning, every night. And it's also quite efficient on storage. And it means you can use like a regular full size mattress. So this is like a standard nice Ikea mattress, the one I used to like when I lived in a normal house. Um, and now I've got it in the van, which is great. With this fixed bed system, I've got this, these sloping cupboards, which gives you a place to lean against. Because obviously the downside of a fixed bed is that you lose um, like the social area, which you might have otherwise. So with a fixed bed, if you've got a way to make it so you can comfortably hang out and sit on it, then it kind of balances it out a little bit. You actually have storage all the way through. So I've got these um, uh, food containers here. Um, and then the back, there's like, again, all the way to the back and I got my battery. So it makes a really simple, efficient design in terms of storage because you don't have space, which is like taken up by a footwell and then covered up by a bed. So it's always dead space. Hi there. So as you can see, we have a lot of storage stuff under here. I made the bed quite low so you can sit it at the front and it doesn't kind of like have this huge drop off into the small kind of like seated area at the front. Um, that means there's less height for storage but because it's fixed bed you've got a lot of it anyway. Um, I've got tons of climbing gear. I've even got a campus board in there which slides out and goes up. Um, the other bed system if you need it for guests is always the hammock system. On my van I've put these um, strength weighted, I think 600 kilo strength weighted I bought and then I can just basically attach a hammock from my van to any tree which doesn't stab me. Hammocks are great and the th great thing about having an attachment in your van, so I've got one on each side and by the door, it means that it doesn't matter where I am, if there's one tree I can just put the van near it and then I have a hammock tie-in point. It's pretty glorious to chill in a hammock all day. <laughs> Okay, so this is um, obviously the sitting room stroke bed. Um, the, the bed uh, is a pretty standard design in that um, it does pull out to become a double bed if you want it. So the main feature is pretty uh, standard and simple, and that is just that you've got this slotting system here, which uh, um, you see different variations of in a lot of vans. With mine, um, I chose to make it in such a way that you could lift it up easily to access all of the plumbing underneath it um, but at the same time it's got these little dowels here that's what um, means you're able to pull up the whole thing but as soon as you pull this out it then becomes loose and that just comes all the way out to there you can then rearrange the cushions and you have got something approaching a double bed I wanted to try and make a bed that was as big as possible. This is a medium wheelbase, so there isn't going to be a lot of space in the back. I want it to be quite a versatile space, so I designed it so that you can remove the midsection of this bed in case, for example, I want to um, transport a large painting. So if I just show you that, then basically, so th these are all the support pillars for the bed, and then you can remove the mattress and basically this in the midsection here just comes off. So this bed consists of a removable table and U-shaped sofa with some back bits. And the table's also on a bit of a slider so you can get in and out to the seating. Um, to turn it into a bed, it's pretty simple. Just wiggle these off. Down here. That drops down there. One. Two. And then you have a bed which is somewhere between a double and a king. So 
some reading lights. So to retain these cushions here and kind of create a back to seat, I've put this little flat, just a little off cut of wood on a hinge. Uh, just keeps these in perfectly when it's in uh, sofa mode. Let's make it back into a sofa again. Pretty simple. One, two. Voila. The first thing I built when I built this van was the bed. Before I even knew the layout, um, I've designed the bed. Basically, I wanted something that I could make instantly because I had an old van and every time you wanted to go to bed, you had to move the seat, move the table, rearrange the cushions, and it was this sort of Tetris procedure. So this one, I've taken an old sofa bed, I've taken the hinges off it, and put them one here and one at the other end. And then this comes up in three sections. We just undo this lift it up here, pop that up, and you've got a bed in five seconds. Push this cushion down, pull that out. This one goes over here. You get a super king size sheet. And you've got one massive bed. So great, you know, when you're really tired and you just want to go to sleep, you've got your instant bed, you can just jump straight in. And then to put it back into a sofa, we reverse the whole process, flat, Pull the mattress away so it doesn't get snagged on the window frame. And then up, down, pop that under there, hook the mattress back up into place, and bring the support back. And there we have living space again. Ta da! These are called rock and roller beds. Um, which is generally what you'd find in this sort of size van. Uh, we thought of building one, but the fact that it's a bed that can seat two with seat belts and it's uh, not only safe but legal, that, that, that swung it for us. I was straight away, this, this, this was the only option. So to set the bed, I'm just going to wiggle these out. After that, it's as simple as that lever. You just pull it out, pull a little bit and just pull the bed out. There we are. We have a memory foam mattress that goes on top. Uh, I've had it go sleeping on it just with this, which we want to put the memory foam mattress up the top to make it a little more comfortable at the top. And this is really nice and comfortable even without it, but with it, it's way more comfortable. Another thing with a short wheel base is without the pop top, it's quite low and everything then when you're in just becomes hunched over. So putting the pop top in just gives you full headroom. Um, even, you know, for really quite tall people, you get a huge amount of headroom, which is really nice. And then when you do want to go to sleep, literally just pull down. Um, and it's got the bed already set up, up there. Climbing up, you can step on everything, except for two things. Uh, you can't step on these because they break really easy and we've been told that they're incredibly hard to, well, you just can't replace them. Um, and you can't step up on the wood. But apart from that, you can step on everything else to climb up. When we want to turn it into the bed, let's take this off first, don't we? You're gonna help me. Is a bit of a two-man job, I've got to say. Or two-woman job. Right, so shimmy off. <laughs> if you could shimmy. There we go. And then rest this over here. Oh, did it take one out already? That's okay. Then take these out. You hold that one, Zephan. I'll take this one out. And then I just open here. And we literally just shove them in. <laughs> you got it in? Watch your fingers. Okay, then do you want to put this one? these slot onto here like so there we go. In. and then the last one which i've hidden under here that goes there and these have got velcro on ready put that one up there 
Actually, the Velcro is really handy for keeping these in place. And it's there, and then we swish this down. We do the same with the top. Can you do that one? Yeah, okay. These, you've got three boards that go on here. That. And then we would put the cushions on top of here. They haven't actually been made yet because this is a new thing We're in the process of making them, but they'll be exactly like this, same fabric. And everything's going to be stored on here with straps. So when we're not using it, none of these wooden bits will be here. They're going to be up here. And the other bits of mattress are going to be on top of here. Can you show how we get up to your bed? Okay, there we go. So my job is to hold it <laughs> and then don't hit your head in the bum. Okay, you're going to climb up. Watch your head. That's it. And it could take an adult as well. So when we I often go away with friends, um, and we've shared the bed down here, but now one of them could go up here. It should be handy, so it can take the weight of an adult, which is good. So now we are coming to the much, much important thing in the van, a good bed. And for us, it was like really, really important to have like a, enough space to move in, but also to have a good bed for sleep and recover for the climbing days. We have like this removable thing in the front, so you can um, make the bed like 90 centimeters longer and we just move the mattress to the to the top of the bed switch the mattress on because the mattress is exactly uh, cut it on that place do you want to show them how the uh, the whole seating and bed arrangement works so first of all we've got um, these bench seats and the table and this was kind of designed to fit us and our friends around at the time that we did the conversion and now happily fits us and the three kids around for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then we've got a pretty straightforward process to turn it into a super king size bed. Um, so the table slots in and then David made this kind of fix all piece um, which both holds the table in um, and also stops the cushions from slipping out and stops anything from falling down. So. Um, that kind of replaced lots of different bits that we initially had. Anyway, then you stuff the cushions into the middle and it is an unbelievably comfortable super king size bed. So yeah, that's definitely one of the highlights and lots of people who go away in Bella say that they have the best night's sleep that they've had of their lives, which is a pretty nice feature. There's a lot of people who really want a fixed bed and for us that was never a consideration because we wanted to have such a big table space, so that was our priority. Back here we have a super king size bed. One of the things about living and camping in a bus is being able to have the biggest size bed you can and matching it to the size at home. So you'll see a huge bed with a memory foam mattress, which is super sweet. Plus we have a TV on the wall. If you get rainy days, you can hide away in here. It's really nice. Under the bed, a huge amount of storage. It lifts up. Under there, I keep my paddle boards my wetsuits and stuff like that, so when we're on the road it's all tucked away and can't come sliding forward. Got a tiger. She also really loves this big bed. Tiger likes the big <laughs> bed. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> she's supposed to sleep there. Nope, doesn't really like it. <laughs>